Hey guys, this is Neon. This is Clownfish Animation. This is not Clownfish TV, and I hope I'm I hope I'm coming through. Uh, here, this is our first live stream we've ever tried doing on Clownfish Animation. Uh, this is where we're going to put all the art and animation content because Clownfish TV has basically become... Uh, oh, there we are. Cool. Let's see where we're at here. Um... What is up, guys? Okay, we got people coming in. Okay, are we on... Uh, let me see. Make sure we're on the right uh, channel here. Are we on Clownfish Animation? Give me a yes on that because I don't know. I've got my streaming key all set up. Uh, and if that is not the case, then I'm going to have to switch over, I think, to the other channel. What is new? Yes, we're on Clownfish Animation. Okay, cool. All right, guys. So, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do some live drawing. And Geeky was actually like, "Why don't you do something for Inktober? Why don't you do some drawings? Uh, you know, every like little drawings every day." So, we actually have a list here of some '80s uh, '80s stuff we're gonna do all month. I'm trying to find my list here, but I think the first one up on the docket is actually Orco for today. I'm gonna do Orco. And this is a Deku I was working on. Uh, couple of weeks ago actually i just haven't had a chance to get him done so yeah if this were clownfish actual clownfish tv we'd have like a gajillion people on right now so um i'm just gonna go ahead and start drawing uh so like i said we're moving everything over to clownfish animation and there is going to be actual animation here it's just that uh the pop culture stuff took over clownfish tv and that's pretty much all we do over there so we're splitting the animation stuff off uh the art stuff off and we're going to split off the gaming on the kind of their own channels so, you know, look for that soon. But I thought, you know, since it's Inktober, we can sup. All right. So I'm going to do Orco. I'm going to do Orco uh, today, I think. That is going to be our first Inktober drawing. Uh, hello, hello. We got people coming in. So this is cool. Thank you, everybody. And I am using Clip Studio Paint, if you guys are wondering. Uh, this is what I use for all my drawing. And we're going to do, let me see here. I don't like that. We're going to put up, and I'm going to keep popping up the chat here to see where everybody's at. We don't have a ton of people on this channel yet, so uh, at least I can actually kind of keep track of the conversations. Clownfish, we get like a thousand people in sometimes. I'm like, I have no idea what we're doing. Um, but yeah, this is actually Geeky's idea to do some Inktober drawings, because I can do them pretty quickly. So we're going to do Orco. Uh, you guys should know Orco, right? All right, let's get the right window here. Orco the Great. There we go. All right. So Orco is actually pretty simple. Now, I'm using a pencil tool. Here I've got uh, different pencils kind of set up that I like, and this one's nice and smooshy. And again, this is all in Clip Studio Paint, and I'm using a Wacom Cintiq tablet to draw with. And uh, we're going to do Orco. I'm gonna just going to mess around. Now, who thinks Orco... Who thinks they, they uh, lifted the Final Fantasy wizard off of... Uh, the Black Mage off of Orco? I, I'm thinking that they did. I could be wrong. But I think that they absolutely lifted the, uh, the Mage off of Orco. All right. Hey, thanks, everybody. Yeah, this channel, we're, we're basically, this is going to be where all the art and the comics and the animation stuff goes. Uh, kind of what we started doing on Clownfish TV, but then Clownfish TV became uh, more of a pop culture commentary channel. And that, I got to tell you, I really enjoy doing it, but we get kind of burnt out, too, because I think long term we want to make stuff. And, you know, it just seems like anytime we try to do anything different on Clownfish TV now... Uh, the algorithm doesn't like it. The algorithm only likes if we complain about stuff. So, <laughs> so we're going to have to start a new channel. We're going to have to start a new channel. All right. Now there, I actually saw, I actually saw what Orko looked like under his, uh, mask before there was some art. He's a Trawan. I think he's a Trawan. And people had like what he looked like under his mask. And I was actually kind of disappointed. I expect him to be like, like really ugly or something and he wasn't he just looked like a doofy elf character um he looked like a very he looked very much like uh like every other fantasy character ever in a filmation show 
So I was a little, little disappointed. Gotta admit. I'm trying to think if I know of any uh, Orko fun facts. Orko was, I think I read one time, he was supposed to be named Gorpo, but they called him Orko because they wanted to be able to flip the O around because he's got the O here. And you, you know how Filmation like to use their uh, stock footage. So instead of having a G for Gorpo, uh, they put an O on him so they could just kind of flip him, flip him around. And I'll try to flip back and forth between the chat here and drawing. So if I don't get to you right away, don't worry about it. I'm working on it. All right. So I just usually, you know, just kind of throw down some blue line until it kind of looks the way I want it to. Now, I really liked Orko's design in the 2002 He-Man. He, uh, he didn't look as childish. He actually looked pretty cool. And, uh, you know, Inktober, I actually know the guy who started Inktober. <laughs> so it was, I think it was Jake Parker. Uh, and he started Inktober a couple of years ago. So now it's like a thing. Like all these artists on Tumblr and Twitter and uh, Instagram now are posting their their Inktober drawings. I'm going to do mine digitally. I'm going to cheat because um, I don't really feel like busting out any pens. And it's very hard to live stream hand drawn because you have to set the camera up and everything else so um, you know. Drawloween so they have another they have another one Drawloween huh Oh boy. Well, we're going to be doing some more uh, live streaming. Here comes a dog on this channel too. And then this is where ultimately we're going to wind up putting all the comic related stuff, all the, uh, all the different art stuff that we do. And if you guys didn't check, Geeky actually has, she did something for Inktober on her Twitter. If you go out there, she did uh, Nemo. She did Nemo because, you know, it's Disney and it's a clownfish and we're clownfish and that's kind of what we do. Right. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually make another layer and I'll do um, kind of red lines to tighten things up. This is just me. This is, you know, I kind of like lay out the basic shape. And then I'll knock this the opacity back a little bit on this one. So in a roundabout way, I'm kind of inking twice. And it's just, this is something I do. Hey, Mick Short. Yeah, we like the article. Um, thanks for submitting that. Now we're... Uh, so this is kind of where I put, I guess this would be like my equivalent when I'm working digitally of like a final pencil uh, line here. So I think my Orco is going to be a little more detailed than the Filmation Orco, but not quite. Since we're trying to keep the 80s aesthetic going here, uh, he's not going to be the 2002 Orco. Now, I'm actually working off of a, a little 13-inch Cintiq, uh, Wacom Cintiq, which is, is nice. It's it, it I mean, the it feels a lot like paper. I mean, the, the actual, like, the drawing surface and everything. And it's, it's, I was using an iPad before for little drawings like this, but I really do like the Cintiq better. Tell Geeky to make a Kong pillow. Uh, we can't call it Kong, though. She's going to call it, like, Mega Monkey or something like that. 
we'll have to <laughs> I'll have to talk to her about that. We'll see how many more she does. Depends on how these ones do. Um, Just kind of a note to self that he's going to be. That's going to be all kind of shaded in there. And. If you hear cars, we live on a very noisy street. People are like, why do you always put that background music in your uh, clownfish TV? Uh, why you've always put the background music in the clownfish TV videos and it's because we have cars outside <laughs> and we're trying to drown the cars out usually and uh, you don't hear the cars so much I, I still have to cut a bunch out but you don't hear the cars so much over the the bleep bloop blops um, Madam Raz I might do Madam Raz this month I have we actually have a list we actually have a list I know I'm gonna be doing some wheeled warriors I'm gonna be doing um, a bunch of different uh, 80s characters some of them from Masters of the Universe. We've got some Thundercats. Yep, see, there's a car. Uh, we got uh, some of them from Masters of the Universe. We got some Thundercats. We got, uh, I think, Smurfs. I have Smurfs on the list. I got all kinds, all kinds of characters. Because uh, the 80s were great. We had all kinds of awesome comics. Let's see who said that Orko was more detailed in the comics, Mighty Geek Studios. Yeah, he might, he probably was, because back then it seemed like the comics didn't really adhere too much to the the cartoon models. They just kind of like, they actually drew a lot of the the cartoon characters like they would draw like a regular superhero comic. So it, that, that doesn't surprise me at all. And it was always kind of weird, like you'd read the old Transformers comics. And as much as I love the old Transformers, the Marvel Transformers comics, it was always kind of odd to see. Marvel superheroes are Marvel superhero artists drawn those robots and they looked like people. They had like human muscles in their legs and stuff, except they were chrome. It was just always kind of weird um, compared to how they do it now. But I think a lot of these guys weren't used to drawing uh, robots. They were just like, you know, we're going to draw the way we usually draw. If you hear snoring, that is my. Dog Charlie, who has decided it's time to go to bed already. 8.30. I think we're going to do Beetlejuice. And we're going to do... Um, I don't know who all we're going to do. we got a pretty long list, though. But we'll start with a Orko. Alright, so that's kind of my pencil rough here. I did an onion ring date with a samurai for the first day. Okay, <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. An onion ring date. All right, so usually this is how I draw. I mean, you guys don't have to draw like this, but I usually do the, like I guess I usually do a blue line, then I'll do a red line, which is a little more finished pencil. And then I throw down some uh, fake ink when I'm drawing digitally. I basically just draw it with the tablet like I do in real life, which is, you know, blue line, pencil rough, and then throw down the inks. So, um, 
Maybe he looks too serious. He needs to be derpier. Orko's a fun guy. He's not... He needs something. Let me see here. a little better, I think. Alright. Okay, so that is my kind of my red final line. So I got, you see here I got like two layers going. I got my blue lines. Let's see if I turn this off, you can see. So there's the blue line and then um, there's the red line. So you can turn the blue line off. Um, usually I just knock them back a little bit and then I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do some inks. Alright. So we're going to make another layer. Boom. And then I like the G-Pen tool. Let me share them on here. G-Pen all right, so we're on the G pen, which I, I like quite a bit. I'm gonna go to black. And there goes another truck. Flying turtles, huh? All right. Now this is turned up like really high. Why is it so thick? Uh-oh. Something's going on. What's going on with my displays? All right. Hold on, guys. Oh, I don't want that. See, this thing is really touchy. That's the only problem I have with it. Um, I think I have the touch off. There we go. Touch is bad. Bad touch. Bad touch. All right. Hey, you'll be happy to know I got a chair that doesn't squeak. I just need to put it together. Uh, Geeky insisted I buy a chair that doesn't squeak because everybody complains in live streams about how squeaky my chair is. Hey, Vinny from Brooklyn. Omega Arts is here. All right. Very quiet stream compared to the usual. Con yeah, Clownfish, like I was telling folks that were in here earliest, or earliest, uh, thank you so much for, for coming in. Uh, I can't even talk, man. I need coffee. Uh, yeah, so the pop culture stuff kind of overtook Clownfish TV. So we're going to move the gaming content and the art content to their own channels. So basically, you just subscribe to the content that you want. So if you're not, you just want to hear us complain and you're not into the art stuff, uh, you don't have to sub to the art channel. Um, vice versa. Maybe you don't want to hear us talk. Maybe you just want to see us draw stuff. Um, see what kind of cartoons and stuff we come up with. Cause we're working on some animated projects right now and that's cool. Uh, you know, we'd love to have you cause eventually we want to start making more stuff. And, uh, you know, I mean, I like to complain about things, but you know, you can only complain so much. Sometimes you need a break. You just want to draw Orko.
Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, the plan is, unless something terrible happens, God forbid, um, I'm going to try to do a quick stream every day. And they might only be like, you know, half an hour or whatever. Um, and we're kind of trying to break the channel in anyway. This, this channel we actually had active before. This actually was our primary channel years ago, but it sort of fell to the wayside. But we're going to reactivate it um, and start doing more art stuff on here. So... All right. So this is definitely an orca in my style. Um, pretty much everything I draw is in my style. So, but. Louis Morales says, I'd love to see Japanimation about boys with tall and round eyes that will make them look just as cute as the girls. Pokemon video game protagonists have those types of eyes and they look cute. All right. Well, I got Geeky uh, Sailor Stars. I got her the DVD set um, for her anniversary, part of her anniversary present. So they are uh, boys that turn into girls. So I guess that's... Um, I think that's how that works. Yeah, that's that's right. They're guys that turn into Sailor Scouts. I saw it years and years and years ago. I saw the subtitled version, so... Turning these off. Let's see if I can do a paint bucket without it. There we go. So let's get that. Yeah, I want to get back into drawing. I used to draw all the time. I used to actually work on uh, Disney comics. That's what I did for a number of years. I actually drew um, Uncle Scrooge and Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse and all those characters. And um, last Disney books I did, well, I did some covers for IDW a couple of years ago. Uh, IDW is not really in a good place right now financially. So, and uh, they don't like me that much anyway since we started the YouTube channel. So the phone doesn't ring. Phone doesn't ring anymore. Um, but geeky yeah if you guys want to see her stuff she went out and did uh nemo she did a nemo today on her twitter so um you guys can go out and check that out And I never 
never do follow the the lines they're just kind of a suggestion because sometimes you're inking and it's like you throw down a line and it just looks better than you know what you were planning on with a pencil and then you're like well just go with it and see where it goes I don't like that the best part of working digitally is of course you can erase ink <laughs> it's definitely cheating because it would take me way longer to ink this by hand uh, that would to do it digitally, but um, Love the Darkstalkers game. Love Darkstalkers. Um, we actually had, if you go to Clownfish TV, we actually had uh, Matt Moylan from Udon, who's a production manager. I think he's a production manager at Udon. Uh, we talked a little bit about Darkstalkers. So we talked about Darkstalkers. We talked about uh, Street Fighter Three. Um, that was a pretty good interview if you guys want to check it out. But yeah, I love the Darkstalkers games. I'm just going to go black and white on this one since it's October. I'm going to add some kind of some fine lines here. I mean, this is a little more detailed than work that it normally is, but um, Where's the lo-fi music? I'm live streaming. Uh, I don't have any any place to pump it in. I need to do. I need to come up with like. I know Twitch. I know on Twitch you can stream music in. I just don't. I don't know what YouTube's gonna get me for if I um, stream music in. Because I'd love to. Because usually I, I listen to music while I draw. It makes time go a lot faster, and uh, I tend to get into it more. But um, I'm afraid on YouTube I'm not gonna be able to do that. 
So I'll have to I'll have to look into some options. We'll we'll pump some music in here when we do the drawing live streams. So the plan is for this month to try to do a live stream every day. So if you guys haven't um, haven't subscribed yet to the animation channel, Clown Fish Animation, please go ahead and and do that because uh, I want to do some more drawing and don't want you guys to miss it. All right, so this is I think pretty much done. So let's turn off that and that. No, nope, I think I might thicken some of these lines up a little bit here. Just because I can. Chilled Cal Lo-Fi is copyright free. I'll need to look into that. Oh, that's funny. Paul Dini gave Orko the circle on his chest. It's supposed to be a zero for how much money they got from the toy line license. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. I mean, um, there's not as much. Probably Mattel, because I think, I think if I remember correctly, the deal Mattel had with Filmation, now I'm not 100% sure, but pretty much any of the characters that Filmation created, I think Mattel still technically owned them, which is why they could have Orko and some of the other uh, toy lines and stuff. Uh, I think. I'm not 100%. I'm not 100% sure, so don't, don't quote me on that. I'm sure there are people out there that know more, but I thought I actually thought the, the O was because he was supposed to be Gorpo, and it was it was uh, too hard to when they would flip the stock animation, you know they couldn't couldn't get the G to flip, so they gave him an O so it could flip. That's that's what I thought, but who knows? Okay, so I'm gonna sign this, I think, and I'm gonna date it, and that is today's uh, today's 80s Inktober uh, doodle. So I remember what this is. All right, guys, there is Orco. And, uh, you know, please sub to the channel. I'm going to do more of these. I'm going to try to do one, try to do one every day. I don't know if I can or not, but I'm going to try to just get the, get something on the channel resembling art. So thanks so much for coming. It's really appreciated. Um, and we're going to do more art on Clownfish Animation. All right, guys, goodbye.